What's up everyone, Jason from the Galactic Hero here, and today we open up a Brain Stars Elite Trainer Box I got on Friday from Walmart. As you know, I posted a video on Thursday of the Walmart restock, and I went out Friday and got a bunch of stuff. Product open up. Oh, sorry about that. The camera was back sent. And to get an actual, like, tr better tripod. But yeah, um... This is my first ever ETB opening for on the channel. I, no, not my first one on the channel. It's my first Burn Stars ETB opening on the channel. And as you know, I'm still trying to complete my Burn Stars um, binder. So I'm hoping that we can pull some good, some good stuff I need for the binder today. Um, but without further ado, let's get into it. There's the front of it with the nice Arcus artwork with the silver metallic um, ring around it, which I really enjoy. A nice silver up here. I like this. I like the channel box. It's like white and it looks clean. Hey, it's the back of it. You want to read that? Another logo. Then it comes with eight booster packs of sword and shield. Um, burn stars, 64 card sleeves, 50, 45 energy cards, a player's guide, a TTG rule book, six damage dice, one co um, competition legal flip coin. A, a um, two acrylic condition markers, one V star um, marker, a collector's box to hold a uh, hold everything for dividers, and a code card. And this also for there, in case you want a visual. But yeah, I kind of wish they'd get, they put like pens in here. That'd be pretty cool too. But let's get into this box opening. I am so excited right now to open this up and see how good the pulls are in here. Because I was originally was going to wait until I got the one from Pokemon Center, but I haven't ordered one yet for whatever reason. I thought I did, but I didn't, so I still had to order one, and I couldn't wait to just open this box up. I want to get into it. Uh, how do I open this? Oh, there, it's right there. Yeah. Here is the inside of the cover case. Got a Whimsicott. I think the same of it. Got Charizard, Shaman, and Arceus. It's like a little poster thingy. I'm not sure if anybody actually uses these things, but it's pretty cool still. Put up on a wall or something. Like decoration. Uh, oh, cool. Here's the um the card guy thing. Of uh, the cards in the set, which I do need, so I can start crossing stuff off. So that I can figure out which cards I'm missing, which cards I have. So I know which cards I need to pull. Or trade for, or whatever, or buy, eventually. And I do plan on making another one for the um the next set. I think it's called Astro Radiance, whatever. I do plan on doing one for that. And I will buy, have both ETBs open up on the channel. One from Poker Center and one from, like, stores. And I would do both in the same video, kind of like a, as a side by side comparison. And my, I love this set, the Trainer Gallery stuff. It's my favorite stuff. And I've already pulled my my Wolves Wanted card from the set, so I can't complain already. I already pulled my Mimikyu. I just want this Mimikyu, the VMAX one. And I want both Sylveon um, Trainer Gallery cards. And then also this card too, because I like Rabbit Strike, Urshifu. But yeah, other than that, not looking too much, too much from the set. Except for like the stuff I need. It's obvious, but yeah. Here is the... The biter thingy. Same little circle pattern on it. Down in the trash. Comes with a rule book for the TCG. That we don't need that either. We got these really nice white um, Arceus sleeves, which is very nice. I like these sleeves. We got the energies. We got a co card. We got the two condition markers. The four. Um, dividers. 
They're very nice actually looking. I don't ever use them for anything, but I probably still use them for Yu Gi Oh! separate mic strike from my main deck. Okay, that that one that die switch, that one die is really nice. That one, um, like the one right there, the really big one, that's really nice. If you didn't know, I really like dice, so like that's to me, that's a really good gift for me. It's like dice in general because I really love dice. It's like one of my favorite things in the world to collect for um any card game in general. Then with the V Star marker. It's pretty nice actually what I have. But yeah, I really love dice. And like I'll sit there and legit buy dice just to buy dice. But yes. Yeah, um got eight packs I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, eight packs of Burn Star to open up. So let's get into it. And see if we get anything good. If I can open it. If I can actually open up. This is like really annoying. There it goes. Let's see what we get. Uh, here's the code card. One, two, three, four. Nice. Right, so we get get a fighting energy. A cafe master. A goodbye. Grottle. Shinx. Impotent. Gullet. Cast form. Bell toy. A reverse magmortar. And a hollow grunt chop. Not bad. Got a hollow from my first pack, which is. I'll just click that out of the win. If I find a boost box of this, that'd be pretty cool. To, I'm gonna try to open up one of those too. Cause that'd be really nice to open up. So I haven't, op I haven't opened up a boost box, booster box on the channel yet for both Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh. So that'd be pretty cool to open up on the channel as well. Here is the code card for the second pack. One, two, three, four. You got another fire energy. Another Gabite, Torkoal, Double Turbo Energy, Halucha, Thorough, Magmore, Staryu, Burmy, a Reverse Team Ye Team Yells Cheer, and a Non Hollow Electivire. Not bad. One Hollow, one Non Hollow. No channel gallery card so far, which is kind of sad. But hopefully we'll get, we'll get one. That's kind of like my favorite thing from the set as of right now, really. That and the full of trainer cards, but I like the kind of like the um, chain, chain, trainer gallery cards better. Because they're just like a lot better looking to me. Still, Hunting Gloves, Weavile, Fracture. Riolu, Starly, Spiritoon, Purloin, Milsery, a Reverse Electivire to go to our non hollow one, and a. Wow, what's so. What are the odds of playing Meg Mortar and they're right in the same pack? That's kind of cool. So far, still only one hollow. I hope, we, hope I didn't buy a dead box. Like, um, ETB, that would kind of suck. Cause I do have two of these ETBs. I am keeping the other one sealed. For now, at least. I might open up like later on in like, a couple years, but as of right now, it's gonna stay sealed. So that I don't really have reason to open it. Other than completing the set, really. There's a code card. So yeah, I have, what, what? One, two, three. I have five ETBs I'm keeping sealed so far. Cause I'm just I like having them like sealed because they're just really cool to look at. Grotto, Berry, Clang, Shroomish, Turtwig, Mentino, Carablast, a Buizel, a Reverse Pimplup, and an Entei V. Very nice. Just leave. 
So it cleaves us up. That's very nice to look. That's very nice, actually. Very, very, very nice. Very cool. So far, I think about what? We got like four packs left. So we're halfway through the um, ETB. I would say so far we're not doing too bad. Well, I mean, kind of. It's for the base, so I'm pretty happy. Pack number five. Here is the code card for you guys. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Got a Dark Energy, a Morgrim, a Cliddle. Ex, um, ex, Executor. I completely forgot to pronounce the thing's name. Executor. There we go. Magmar, Staryu, Burmy, Salk, Cherubi. Finally, a Argados China Gallery card. Very, very, very nice. Very happy about that. And a Golark non hollow. But it doesn't matter because we can put a China Gallery card. So I am happy. I'm a happy, I'm a ha happy camper. Very nice. Third to last pack. Let's see more China Gallery cards. Because that's. If I pull like all China Gallery cards, I would not complain whatsoever. Code card. One, two, three, four. Got a leaf energy. Fracture. Team Yale's cheer. Marnie's pride. Got a kibble. Execute. Trumpinch. Starly. A piplup. A reverse probo probo plat probo plat pass. And a hollow Lucario. I just not work with Lucario. I wonder. I need to open up. I need to buy um Lucario V Star box. Now that I think about it, Cause like that the pin that comes inside of it is like really is really cool. Second to last pack. Well, it's the yeah. After this, we got one pack to open up. Then we're done with the video. It's kind of sad to say. I hate ending videos because I really like recording them and just opening packs in general. Because, so like, this stuff's, like, really fun to do sometimes. Like, a lot. Like, opening packs. Here's the code card. One, two, three, four. We got a Lightning Energy. We got a Crawdot. Ultra Bowl. Tropius. Mentino, Carablast, a Buizel, Harlucha, a Thorough, a Burst Turtwig, and a Non Hollow Luxury. This isn't looking good, guys. One Channing Gallery card, one V, and I think two Hollows. Uh, this isn't looking good for us. Last pack. Come on, once a cut, give us good luck. I don't think I've put a V Star so far. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I haven't put one yet. Here's the code card. But I have pulled the old art Charizard V, which was pretty cool. Oh, cool. We got another one. Uh, um, V Star. I've only pulled like two of these. I think. We got a ex Executor. Friends and Galar, I wish it was a Fallout Trainer card. A Weavile, a Shinx, Badoof, Electabuzz, Harlucha, a Buizel, a Vers Carablast, and the last card is. Ah, a Warmer Dam, a Nun Hollow. That box wasn't the greatest box ever, but I can't complain really. I can throw it on Pokemon cards today. So yeah, um, 
all we've got today was an area dose a trying to get crap which i'm very happy about and then a into a v which i might think I, I think i already pulled this card but i'm not sure though if i did it'll be good to my pokemon trade binder and yeah um not bad but not the best but i can't really complain though i don't put my cards today with you guys so i'm pretty happy um if you like today's video like comment and subscribe and list your favorite card from like your favorite pokemon card of all times in the comment section down below because i really like to know and if you want to know mine mine would have to be as of right now the rapid strike urshifu v max from battle styles and any mudkip card because like mudkip always has really cute cards so yeah um actually do i have to make a question with me where's that card i do with it earlier i actually do have my favorite mudkip card with me actually i'm gonna show you guys real quick before i end the video if i can find it again okay it's somewhere it's on his desk it's gonna find it real quickly uh, where the heck is it uh, there it is this is my favorite mudkip card of all time Like, I love this card. Because Muck is so, so cute. Like, look at this. Like, look at that face. You can tell me that face is not cute. It's something that you like, just want to just hug all day. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Let me know. So, let me know you guys' favorite cards. Because I would really like to know and, like, talk to you guys about it. Now that you know my favorite card. But, yeah. Um, that's it for today's video. And until next time, this is Jackson signing off.